Okay guys, final review for today, Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, I finally found it from download.com, thanks to somebody. Sorry I can't remember your name, but they left comments. I can see the new install screen is fixed. Um, I guess I'll just join this. The fire. Okay. I'm going to let this install. Um, if anything pops up interesting, I'll be right back with you guys whenever that happens. If not, then I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright guys, here we are installed and uh, updating currently. It just buzzed right through the uh, install, no problems at all. Uh, at the end of the install, I had to restart the virtual machine here. Um, it actually didn't say anything about genuine Windows this time. Remember the older version, it said um, something about having a genuine Windows copy. Uh, not that this isn't a genuine Windows copy or anything, but you would think that if they if I wait something by Microsoft, you'd have to have a genuine Windows, unless it's already built in. Whenever it's to auto detect it, I'm not sure, but or to validate Windows or whatever it said before. But uh, I'm gonna let this finish, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, I just started a random scan, I guess after the install, so I just stopped the scan. And uh, it looks like this one's new, the Enable Behavior Monitoring. Um, check for certain uh, patterns of suspicious activity. This one might also be new, I don't remember seeing that, but I'll update it one more time. And there you go. So I'm going to... Go to MDL and get some links here. And that one's found. If we show details, Trojan Downloader. If we remove it, it's not going to let us download it anyway, so I'm just going to continue. And that was a backdoor, by the way. Don't really see anything running. Looks like this is Microsoft Security Essentials right here. If that's all it is, 10 megs in. Okay, let's continue. I don't know why this is installing because I don't even have automatic updates on. I'm actually going to go with something else other than a fake AV. That one's dead. 
I guess this one's blocked because it's not bombing me to save it. Here's the back door. This is one of those fake scanner pages. That allows us to run it. Or at least download it, rather. Let's try this one. Try some other things than uh, fake AVs all the time. That one's dead. Hopefully, this one works because I tried it before. This one's blocked because I just seen it pop up. If we clean it, it won't want us to download it anyway, so. I'll get about three or four more. I also can see that the scan time, I mean, the uh, cleaning times seem a lot faster than they used to be. That one's blocked. If we try to do this, it's not going to let us. Um, it's telling me to restart. I'll restart in a second. I'm going to run like three more of these, and that's it. I'll take it that one's blocked because it's not going to let me download it either. And I'm going to go with this Trojan downloader. Hopefully it'll work. No. Okay, so basically, three of them got downloaded, a few of them got cleaned. It's telling me I have to restart, so I'm actually going to restart. I'm going to pause the video, and whenever I get back, I'm going to run a full scan with uh, MSC, and then I will run scans with uh, Norton Super, uh, Norton Power Eraser, um, Malware Bytes, Hitman Pro, and also going to clean up the files, the temp files with CCleaner. So I'll be right back with you guys in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back from that restart, and uh, it hasn't told me anything yet, so I'm actually going to run a scan. 
on these few items and see what it says. Okay, so it says no threats were found. Let's just run all of these. Most likely all got through. I don't know, so I'm going to run a full scan with, uh, let's see here, with Microsoft Security Central to see if it missed or catch. Oh crap, hang on for a second. Forgot to run C Cleaner. If you want to check out the video I made before this one, it's actually telling you how I can help you with your problems with your malware, viruses, or anything on your system. Uh, if you just want to take a look at that, go ahead and I have an explanation, explanation of uh, how you can get help for free. So uh, just check that out, and uh, I'll be back in a few minutes after the scan's done, and I'll see you guys then. The scanner. The scans aren't completed yet, but I just wanted to tell you guys right now that uh, I'm not going to be rating my videos anymore, or the antivirus softwares rather. Uh, by the books of them, uh, you can rate them yourselves if you just want to post a comment, what you think, whatever. And if people like them, that's alright, okay. Uh, but some people don't like the way I rate my videos, they say it's not fair, they say it's. Uh, I'm not rating them nice, and so yeah, if you guys just want to rate them, fine, go ahead, doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm only here to test them, not really rate them, just to test them and see how good they are. But uh, you guys can put your ratings out, out of 10, 5, 2, whatever you want, doesn't matter. So uh, this scan looks like it's taken a while, but I also started the other three scans. As you can see, one of these pieces of malware, which is this one right here is detected by Hitman Pro already and Norton Power Eraser isn't finished neither is Malware Bytes so I'm actually gonna let this run and by the way if you guys ever wanted like a program that you can pay for I would actually buy Hitman Pro because it seems like to catch most of the stuff but it didn't catch this thing um, another good one is Norton Power Eraser I actually just well, I actually knew about this one for a while, but I actually just started using it whenever I started retesting my videos. And I replaced this one with Super Any Spyware because it's you don't really have to install it, it's just uh, scan, erase, easy as that. Um, so yeah, I like it, and yeah, so. If you guys have any requests, like I always see in my videos, just feel free to ask. Um, I'll be happy to help you guys. And, uh, so yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes after these scans complete. See. Alrighty, guys, this scan's still going on, but I really don't have any, like, 30 or 40 minutes to wait for a scan to complete. By the looks of it, that's how long it's going to take, because it's only at 10 minutes and 52 seconds, and it's only not even a fourth of the way there, so. I'm just going to actually stop the scan, because I didn't download anything besides the things on my desktop. And I'm going to cancel that scan <coughs> and say that it didn't find anything. Okay, so we got this one as a piece of malware. And I'm not sure what this one is because nothing found it as a malware or anything. So. Let me actually... I'll just wait a second. I'm going to pause the video really fast and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And this one was actually not a piece of malware. As you can see, by virus total, 0 out of 42 uh, people caught it. So, uh, let's see. 
Yeah, nobody caught it. So basically, I'd say it's trash and no good. Um, just wondering if Microsoft Security Sanctions is on here. Let's see what this. Okay, Malwarebytes completed with no th nothing on there either. So I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to submit this file. If you guys aren't ever sure about a virus, or a piece of uh, malware, or um, if anybody is just wondering about a file or something, just go ahead and search for it. Okay, so this one is a virus, as it is detecting from an ANH lab, or HN lab, uh, Avira, Bitdefender, Dr. Web, EIM, or MS, MSOft, or whatever it's called, F-Secure, uh, Kaspersky, Not32, Panda, Subrini Spyware, and these multiple things. So, I personally think that it, the Avira um, did a pretty good job today. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, basically, like I said, I'm not going to rate my videos anymore. And uh, you guys can do it for me. So, uh, I guess that's it. So, comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.